Hello and welcome back. Today we've got another £500 worth of £2 coins we're hunting through. We're looking for commemoratives, ones with more than face value, but ideally looking for ones we need for the book. We need three Northern Ireland, Wales and Scotland Commonwealth Games. Any of those three would be fantastic finds. Otherwise, we've got all the commemoratives up to and including the 2016 Great Fire of London. There's a few Britannias that were mentioned for circulation which haven't started turning up yet, which uh, again would be quite nice coins to find, but let's get into the bag and see what we get. Right, so, first bag we have got We've got bag bags today as well, so sometimes these are lucky, sometimes they're not. We will have to wait and see. Uh, this is Technologies, the definitive non-commemorative design on £2 coins used up into and including 2015 before being changed. Some of them are lower minted years than others, just not low enough. I think any of them are worth keeping. Our first commemorative is the abolition of the slave trade, which is a, oops, get my hands around it, a fairly common coin. Nothing too exciting there, unfortunately. I think, oh no, the VE Day Anniversary is our second one. This is the most common commemorative £2 coin in circulation. Excuse me, season there. In circulation is what I was going to say. Anyway, so today is not, is, Tuesday is not normally a £2 coin hunt day. Tuesday is normally 50p, but I was taking part in Monday's Mega Marathon Monday uh, 50p coin hunts, which is uh, a great and exciting um, video put together by Trevor from Coins to Collect and gives the viewers a chance to win a Q Gardens 50p. So go check out Coins to Collect's channel uh, if you want to know how you can win that Q Gardens 50p. Although be quick about it because you don't want to miss out on it. Right, Act of Union, check for the rotation error. That doesn't have it, unfortunately. It's one we keep track of how many we found just out of interest. Nothing else for that bag though. Uh, but also we've had some exciting news about some new coins so it's been announced through royal proclamation 450 p's uh we have got the snowman which has become an annual tradition now i like the snowman 50 p's we've had one uh, every year since 2018 i think was the first year um some so i think all the designs have been nice some years have been nicer than others but uh, all uh very cool coin so i'm excited to see what this one looks like there is a, a vague description that we get to the coins through the royal proclamation uh, for those who don't know the royal proclamation is one of the first public announcements that a coin is to be made it's one of the first times we get to see as the general public that the royal mint are planning to do this coin it normally gets released a few months before the coins um and uh, obviously it doesn't include an image it's just a description i think the snowman one was it's an image of the snowman putting the star on top of the Christmas tree, which is quite cool. Um, then there's also the red arrows, which uh, fe are going to feature three red arrow planes with the sort of smoke trail behind them. Um, this one I'm a bit conflicted on. When I heard that it was going to be red arrows, I assumed it was going to be a two pound coin. I don't know why. It just it seems like I think it's because the, there's that big RAF set from 2018 that was put onto the two pound coin. Uh, that I don't know it feels like <laughs> it feels like it should be on the two pound coin I don't know why uh, but yeah we'll feature three red arrows and the smoke trail which could make for a really cool design um, we return once more to the Harry Potter franchise on 50p's oh, VE the anniversary again uh, but there it is Harry Potter who's been captured by people in the design um, which again, when I heard the description, I was like, what? Mer people? Are there even mer people in Harry Potter? I didn't even realise that. I'm not a massive Harry Potter fan. I've seen the films uh, twice each, and I read the books up to the first big one. I think the fifth book. And I got a third of the way through, and it felt like nothing had happened, so I gave up reading it. Um, so yeah, I'm not the massive Harry Potter fan, so I'm not the person to judge it now when the last Harry Potter 50p came out and was announced as being Harry Potter and the flying key I was like what again I think this is sort of like a niche and it's not the most obvious thing that if you think Harry Potter you don't think about the flying key you don't think about mer people capturing him um, but that being said the flying key design was stunning I really really like that this coin design and hopefully uh, they will approach this latest release with these mer people um, in a similar vein because again if it's a cool design I'd be more than happy with it uh, so snowman red arrows Harry Potter there was one more Gruffalo another VE day anniversary 
We we return for the third time for a Gruffalo 50p, which is exciting. Oh, Robert Burns there. Robert Burns is a smidge over face value, not enormously so, but a nice one for sure. Uh, so yeah, the, the Gruffalo, I think the Gruffalo was the start of these uh, NIFC 50ps, coins that were minted for collectors to buy but not put into circulation. That's Florence Nightingale, lovely design on that one, but again, very, very common. Um, so yeah, it was, it was from, sort of from that time, the Snowman, the Gruffalo back in, oh no, it was Gruffalo 2019, so it, was, it would have been the Snowman, 2018 Snowman, I think followed by the Gruffalo in the following year where more of the 50p's minted were for collectors to buy and not circulated. So, Florence Nightingale to go once again and Bruno's achievements, the Arches at Paddington Station once again, very common coin. We're not doing particularly well today. We've still got a few more bags to get through though. But anyway, the Gruffalo coin will feature the Gruffalo's child and the mouse. The mouse was, uh, there was the Gruffalo by itself and then the Gruffalo and the mouse and now we're having Gruffalo's child and mouse. There's the second Brunel design, Brunel's portrait. Again, fairly common. Um, but no, it'll be interesting to see when these come out. It'll be interesting to know how many of these are going to get the 140th ounce gold coin versions. Uh, I was a little bit I've said it a bazillion times now. Uh, last year when it came up for the coronation of the king's birthday, these 140th ounce gold coins, which are smaller than my little fingernail, they're like little gold dots. I'm flying to go once again. Uh, I like them because there's, again, some of the coins have got really intricate detail and to be able to get them, get that detail transposed, especially like the Buckingham Palace five pound coin onto these 140th ounce gold coins, I thought was really, really cool. Now it's a terrible, way to invest in gold, but that is not the way to go about it. Buy bullion, don't buy proof coins. Um, and now I bought them last year thinking, oh, these are kind of cool, they'll be a couple of year or whatever. Uh, I didn't expect every single coin release in 2024 to have a 140th ounce gold coin uh, released with it. Another Brunel's Achievements, Arches at Paddington Station. But there we go, That's it seems to be the way. I wouldn't, I, I definitely wouldn't have bought them if I had, uh, realized quite how many were going to come out. I reckon I'll have an ounce of gold by the end of the year at the rate that they're coming out and I'll have paid a stupid amount of money for it. But I don't know. They're, they're kind of nice, aren't they? They look pretty and that's what matters. Uh, if you're not buying as an investment, buy, the, the recommendation is always buy what you like. And again, I'm not looking to sell my coins at any point. So who cares how much money I lose on my coins as long as I'm happy with them. That's the main thing, right? Right? Anyway, right, we are coming to the end of this video and we still need to get an edge hunt in. So, we can do this on two pound coins because they have edge inscriptions unique to the design. If it says standing on the shoulders of giants, we know that'll be a definitive technology. This is an Isaac Newton quote which they've put on the coin. I think these are all just going to be technologies. Oh dear. We've got a few more bags. Let's try once again. The problem with these bag bags, I always get paranoid thinking, oh, someone's probably already hunted through these. However, we have had some extreme luck with them in the past. Oh, there we go. Something will turn up will be Charles Dickens. There we go. Another very common coin. And the bottom one here, nursing, will be Florence Nightingale once again. There's a few Florence Nightingales in that bag. Uh, let's just flick through them, just make sure I haven't missed any exciting commemoratives, which I haven't. An ultimate bag, oh my goodness, I reckon this might be someone's throwback finds. Not mine, because uh, I don't throw back Robert Burns uh, two pound coins, I keep them. But, unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to get much more. And, well, you never know, last bag, we could be saved by this, the last bag. Now, as usual, you'll find links in the description of this video across to my coin collecting Discord server if you want to come along and join that. Bruno's portrait there. Uh, Bruno's achievements even, I don't know what I'm talking about. There are also links to my other social media channels um, and the PO Box dress if you want to write in to me. There's another Charles Dickens. Uh, you'll also find a link to the Britannia Coin Company's YouTube channel. That's the company I work for as my day job, so please check them out as well. We wrap up today with a VE Day anniversary. Right. That's all the commemoratives pulled out. I'm now going to check through 
all the coins, the commemoratives and the definitives for any errors that I might have missed as they all just fall down. Well, unfortunately, uh, no exciting errors found in amongst all those coins in terms of our Starfinder as well. A little bit uh, lacking in terms of exciting finds, but uh, Robert Burns is probably the best one we found. If you disagree, if you found a more exciting £2 coin over the lovely bank holiday weekend, let me know in the comments what you have found. Um, but no, unfortunately, uh, not the best kind of hunt, but uh, these kind of hunts do happen from time to time. I'm sure the next time we'll find something far more interesting. But all that leads me to do now is thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed and I'll see you next time for more coins. Bye.